with yet another video as I said I would be because it is a Sunday and on Sundays we do these videos so I'm back <laughs> as I said last week we're going to be looking at back to school for the next couple of weeks uh, well last week and this week because tomorrow you guys are going back to school if you go to school um, I don't know how you're feeling about that maybe you're excited maybe you're nervous but either way, I'm hoping that this video is gonna help you um, in the preparation and the stages of going back to school. So this video, I thought I'd share with you my top tips for going back to school. Obviously, I am not at school. I am a youth worker. I am over the age of school. So I've not had to go back to school in a COVID world. Um, so my top tips are maybe not that relevant, but I'm hoping that it's what you want to hear and it will help you and give you a bit of encouragement. Okay, so I have kind of split up my top tips into like four different sections. I have got some top tips for your friendships, for lessons, for feelings of anxiety and worry. And I've also got some top tips just generally, just general top tips. <laughs> we'll start with friendships. So you guys haven't seen your friends properly in a while, probably not since, probably not, well, not since you were last at school, which was before Christmas. And that means when seeing each other, it's either gonna go really, really, really well, and you're gonna get on so good, or maybe you're gonna remember that a few people you don't get on so well with, and there's a bit of a clash. If there is a bit of a clash, and if there's a bit of a problem with your friends or just people in your class, try to remember what the Bible tells us to do. The Bible tells us to love one another as I have loved you. So even when people are messing around in class and disrupting, or maybe if they're being mean in the playground, try to show them love. Now, this does not mean going around kissing and hugging them. In fact, I, tell, I, I advise you not to do that at all, especially at the moment with COVID. Uh, but what it means, it means giving grace and having patience with them. Still being kind, even though they're not. And it's really difficult, but showing them love will make you feel better and it will make them feel better. Some of you may be in big friendship groups and there may be quite a lot of you. And another top tip I have is to make sure that no one is feeling left out. In big groups, it's so easy to feel a bit left out or on the sidelines, but what your job can be is to look out for those that may be feeling a bit worried or a bit on the sidelines and a bit left out, and to try and include them. Maybe you can go sit with them at lunch, or maybe you can just make sure that they get to say something in the conversation. Try to make sure that everyone is involved. Okay, so over the past year, since March last year, I figured out you have probably spent about seven months doing homeschooling and doing lessons from home. And maybe you've loved the freedom of that or maybe you've absolutely hated it. Either way, from Monday, you're gonna be doing lessons at school again. And these are likely to be a little bit more intense. Now, I don't wanna say this to scare you, but I want to say it to give you some tips and tricks on how to deal with the intensity of face-to-face -face learning again. My top tip is to try your hardest, but also give yourself grace. Make sure you put in complete effort, but realise that if you don't get something right or if you don't do something exactly how you wanted it, it is okay, you've got grace. You have spent seven months of your school life at home, learning from home with your parents who are awesome and you love, but your parents aren't teachers. And so don't worry if you don't know everything. Another top tip I have for lessons is to rest when you can. Make sure your breaks and your lunch times are enjoyable and you have fun and you can be re-energised for the next set of lessons. And make sure that when you get home, you can spend time and rest. Do something that you find peaceful. Maybe it's going on a run or taking your dog out for a walk or maybe it's reading the Bible or maybe it's listening to music or painting or playing Roblox. Whatever you find peaceful, make sure you fit that in in your day. So you might be feeling a bit worried or nervous about school. Or maybe you're not, but then when you get to school, you find yourself feeling a bit worried and nervous. And that is absolutely fine. My top tips for dealing with these feelings are to talk about it. Share, share how you're feeling with your teachers and your parents, or you can even share it with me. If you want, we can go on a socially distanced dog walk and just chat about everything that is worrying you. And, we can, and I can try and help you in that and we can pray together. The other person you can talk to about it is God. God already knows exactly how you're feeling and he already knows why you're feeling that and everything that's worrying you. But I found in my own personal experience that talking to him and sharing those worries with him and handing it over to him to be in control of 
completely lifts the weight off my chest. Ask God to replace the bad feelings of stress and worry and anxiety with the good ones, the feelings of peace and happiness and hope. Another way to stop these feelings of worry is to find something that you can do every morning before school that relaxes you. Now, I want to encourage you that this might be spending time with God. Remember, we talk about the 15 minute rule, five minutes of Bible reading, five minutes of worship and five minutes of prayer. Maybe spending just that five minutes going through that will really help you and really encourage you and make you ready for the day. At Christmas, if you're part of GBC Youth, you would have been given a, a, a book called Apply. You can do that. If you don't know where to start reading the Bible, go through the book, do a page a day. I have also made a little Bible study booklet for you, which you should have received by now. Um, so maybe you could do that. And finally, some general top tips on how to deal with going back to school. One, be prepared. <laughs> I don't think any of us like to feel stressed or rushed, especially not in the mornings when if you're anything like me you're still half asleep at 10 o'clock in the morning and your brain just doesn't work so why not prepare for school the day the night before so for example you're going back to school tomorrow so tonight why not make sure your bag's ready make sure you know the plan for lunch whether your mum or dad's making it or whether you're making it and if it's ready in the fridge to put in your bag Make sure you've got everything you need. Don't forget your mask, your hand sanitizer, all the books that you might need. And then in the morning, all you have to do is wake up, get ready, eat some breakfast and go. <laughs> that is another top tip. Make sure you eat breakfast. Now I'm really, really bad. And before I fell pregnant, I never ate breakfast ever. And I'd get to about 10 or 11 o'clock and I would be so hungry, I wouldn't be able to concentrate on what I was doing, especially when I was at school. And at school, you can only eat during the break time and the lunch time. And so you don't want to have to be sitting there for hours and hours being so hungry, waiting for that time to eat because you forgot to eat breakfast. Set your alarm half an hour early if you have to. I know it sucks, waking up early is not fun, but breakfast really is the most important meal of the day. And maybe while you're eating your breakfast, you can, you can do your, your Bible study. So we're going to be back next week with another video. And I know I said I was going to do a relationships video, but I've actually changed my mind. We're not going to talk about that for a while yet. Next week, I am going to be back and I'm going to be doing some of your guys' schoolwork. And I'm going to see if I can cope with a day of homeschooling as a person who works uh, full time and hasn't been at school for quite a few years now. So we'll see you next week for another video, guys. I hope you have a great first week back. Don't forget, if you need to text me, you can text me and we can go catch up for a walk and see how you're getting on. We'll see you later. Bye.